Okay. Uh, I want to talk about the Mexican embassy in Ecuador being invaded. Um, so I want to talk about the cabal and what they are. The uh, bad guys. The what what can we learn about this act? You could say this is like well, what I'm saying is I think they're trying to do many things at once. And the Kamal is trying or doing doing many possibly but yeah. oh I'll just say possibly well yeah, doing many things I want uh they're trying to uh, get the person in the embassy uh who was asylum so they they want to get him because they have uh yeah. that's that's like the most obvious goal obvious goal but the other is to um thumb your nose your nose at the norms of international law this might be spiteful vengeful <laughs> because these guys are uh, they are fascists they are totalitarian rules based order <laughs> So they they have they are the cabal has this thing called the rules based order, which is their rules, which is uh, enforced by the U.S. and NATO. Um, and this is by by invading the embassy, they sort of give you know they're giving a middle finger to international law. It's probably like a desperate move because they're losing the war in Ukraine and look what's happening in Israel. So, 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 so they're losing in the field of international relations. The state's sovereignty is uh, states are standing up for themselves. They're not uh, cowering to the quote rules based order so this is like sort of like a spiteful vengeful act to deliberately invade this embassy is to sort of like uh, take a take a shit on international norms international law uh, the sovereignty of state so there is that spiteful kind of thing so that's another thing it's a desperate spiteful move uh another thing they could be going fishing <laughs> they could be like uh, uh, uh they're gonna look at uh, look at the reactions the responses of various states so mexico cut off diplomatic ties some other states also cut cut off diplomatic ties. so they're gonna look for responses how are these how are the country is going to respond to this blatant infringement of international law uh by looking for the responses they're going to try to find out countries or people whom they can who who are going to be more friendly to the rules based order so 
by doing this brazen act and 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 they're going to look at the responses of people and they're, they're going to try to find out who are their friends their enemies their neutrals who can be manipulated who's naive uh who's corruptible <laughs> so they're going fishing as well um and i think the same thing happened with uh, you know when when blinken made the comment about ukraine uh, comment about Ukraine joining NATO again the same thing is to just um, obviously uh, that's like a red line for Russia so that's just this is just to piss Russia off but you should never forget the fishing part they're gonna look for the responses they're gonna put this information out in the media they're gonna they're gonna read read the people's responses and the nation's responses, trying to figure out who are they, who who can they ally with, who can they manipulate, or control, or nudge. So, I think the, the, while people are so upset and blinking about saying we Ukraine is going to join NATO, and they're saying oh this is going to, but you should also understand that there is another reason why they were why. I think Blinken is being used by the Kamal, obviously. <laughs> I think, I'm just going to say it. the rules-based order, the Kabbal, the NATO, all these, these gangsters, <laughs> this, this rogue uh, faction, like within, you know, the, the deep state, the military industrial complex, the shadow government, the ones who are not accountable to the... Uh, you know, like in America, everywhere, there's a, there's the shadow government. They're not, uh, they call it the deep state, but, you know, there might be factions within the deep state. And, I, you know, yeah, though this, these kinds of people, rogue actors, uh, uh, I was watching a video here. And this is a good, interesting, I've only started watching it, but there's some, good thing about discussion about the rogue actors in this in the state anyway i've only started watching it but I've, I've, this is about the earthquake machine and all that this is how another thing the way these guys operate is because they have earthquake machines they have directed energy weapons and by because most people are not aware that these weapons exist when earthquakes happen or, or things like that, people just assume it's a natural thing. So it's like this whole hybrid shadow war goes on and people aren't, uh, don't understand it. Uh, anyway, that's some good points there. Anyway, um, so they're going fishing. They're going to try and they do these outrageous acts. First, you know, they might have multiple reasons for it, but you should never forget they're also going to the gauging reactions from people and from states, which states are friendly, which are neutral, which can be uh, bought, who are corruptible, who are going to be a problem to them, who are going to be fighting back. So let's not forget the uh, going fishing part. I think, I think that's important to, uh, to, to, to sort of understand. Uh, 